Welcome back, everybody. All right. Let's see what's going on. What are we going to do? It's miraculously missing! Apparently, whatever generated the force field, this price could say, Oh my god, we got a dragon made a miss. Oh, screw this noise. Oh no, I'm sure it's not... Uh, hair on my tongue. I'm sure it's not a trap whatsoever. See, Edge, Teddy Ruxpin isn't a pussy like you are. Or how you've been. How do you know this? And my eyes get a piece of hair in it. Oh, it's gonna let me go down here, but it's not letting me let go anywhere else. Okay, fine. And of course, it's not gonna give me any items. No, okay. Alright, fine. Alright, fine. Nothing else interesting. What the- What the hell? Okay, now we're back to this one. Okay, alright. So basically, oh my god, we're screwed. Alright, who do we want to attack here? Um. Well, this is going to be interesting now. Which one do I use? Or you, well, you know, which one do I go after? Oh, thank you, Edward. You were awesome. Which one do I go after? Because I can do damage to both of them, so. I guess it might be a good idea to, um. What I want to do? To. Um. Kill Odin first because, well, um, if he's still got his, you know, like instant kill thingy, that might be a pro Edward, you suck right now. Um, that might be a problem, so. Ow! Holy cow! Um, I'm, I'm sorry I just insulted you, Edward. I I'm really sorry about that. Holy cow, did that friggin' hurt? At least he did something useful for us in case it us before, you know, he kind of died for our sins here. He's got really, really crappy HP right now, but he's also the only person who hasn't hit 40 yet. Um, so that does make a small amount of sense. I don't know if he's even 30 yet, Jesus, because there's like no place to grind his tail, so... more do we need to hand? Yeah, I'm fine. You know, you two are the only people who are actually doing anything decent here. He doesn't tell me, like, Odin has, like, infinite HP and he's just there to, like, troll me or something. That would kind of suck. And why hasn't Odin done- Edward? Well, the only thing I did was rehase you. Something else. But I mean, Odin hasn't attacked us yet. And this is strangely upsetting. Because I don't know if she's... Well, Mary Sue or... Anybody has, like... Anything really up their sleeve or something that is going to come back and bite me in the ass. So I'm kind of scared right now. Yeah, I'm glad they're actually putting up a bit of a fight here, but, um... Oh my god, Edward, you suck so hard right now. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, hi! Well, that was an abrupt end. <laughs> 
I, I, I guess we knocked some sense into him like everybody else. But again, why is there only two of however many idolons there are where you actually have to stop fighting in order to save them? Like everyone else, it's like, oh, we're good now, instantly stop the fight. Which is not entirely a bad thing, but... Odin, you didn't even do anything in the fight. So what's going on? And Mary Sue's like, ah, crap. Why what? And of course they arrive like three seconds too late. Wow, um, um, Cecil of all people who's been kind of not himself throughout the whole game actually recognizes him and nobody else can? Um, wow. <laughs> like, nobody else has thought of this. <laughs> Will someone drop his real name for once? I'm still waiting on that. Indeed I am, bitch. You know, we outli outlived our usefulness like three hours ago when, when you got the final crystal. Oh my god, I get to fight her? I get to f Okay, this is a random ass party, but um... Okay. Why is Kane not in this party? Give me Kane back! I want Kane in my party. Ban. Let me do something fun. And of course, you know, I'm gonna summon Miss Dragon on your butt. We haven't seen her yet, so. I mean, thankfully, Rydia really has some of her summons back, but she doesn't have the two most useful ones back yet. Um, can I Quaker? Please tell me I can actually beat her this time. Only for the rest of the party to finally discover, oh my god, there's more than one of them! Holy cow, what are we gonna do now? You're not gonna be like, didn't you all pay attention? That was sucky, Rydia. To what Golbez just said, and... Wait, no, I wanna do... That. You haste somebody. Like, ditch me of Edward so I can't full party haste now, and I am. Ah, poopy. Why won't you let me select something, dammit? I'm hitting the button, you can hear me! <laughs> Oh, because I had to wait for Rydia to speak, huh? Alright, uh, what else do I want to use? Oh, he's Rosa. She's slow as crap, so... Yeah, let's give her one some MP. Why the hell not? But I mean, why is, like, Rydia shocked? that she has Leviathan. I mean, she's got everyone else, and she was right there. Oh, wait, now we're just gonna probably gonna talk again, right? Yeah. Okay, fine. So apparently this fight is semi-scripted then. Holy crap, that hurt. It's probably didn't kill anybody. you help with the healing there, little boy. But still, this is a random party. I mean, I suppose it's 
somewhat like the best party, but I mean, why is. I, I would have kicked Cedar out and put Kane in instead. That's what I would have done. Like, if I had a choice of who to put in here. Oh, oh, okay. Um, she's sparkly glowy now. I, I, I just saw that in the corner of my eye. So, um, I'm guessing that something bad is going to happen. She's gonna throw a meteor on my head, isn't she? You know what? I never cast slow. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh my god, I'm stupid. <laughs> I didn't put slow on her. I'm not gonna bother at this point because I've already done. If, if this battle is semi scripted, I was like, I called that. Totally called that, did I not? It's about the only massive damaging thing she can do at this point, so. But strangely, she doesn't summon a Sarah. I would figure she'd summon her before Leviathan. And then Rydia would react to that too. Okay, so she's not sparkly glow anymore. So apparently she's got some charge time on this crap. Okay. Doing okay. Doing okay. I'm gonna guess at this point it's a lather, rinse, repeat until she's dead, which I just kinda did. Okay. Well, that was actually an interesting fight. Forgive me if you hear the sound of my soda bottle opening in the background. Can we call him by his real name now? The official reveal has been done. Or at least one of his names. Thank you. It's like, what? And I can imagine everyone with a oh shit look on their face right now. You've already have them! You've had them since I started this frigging chapter! So now they finally get smart and run off with them? And why did Gobez back up to the door? And and why are Edge and Kane just staring at Like, are they interrogating him at the moment or something? While everyone else is like, what the hell happened to Cecil? Maybe that's what's happening. I don't know. Yeah, you know, I still don't understand why he didn't recognize Kane at first. And then when Kane comes back in his fancy metrosexual armor, he does. And he's like, yay, welcome back! Holy cow, Kane, awesome! And then 20 minutes later, he's like, God damn it, Cedar, how dare you, you, you protect the man that saved your life! <sighs> yeah, you want, you want to elaborate all that? Sure we can. Let's just blow it up. But we, with the power of friendship, can! Or some bullcrap like that. He's gonna say, no, we can't do it. Let's get mothership. Yeah, not, not, not to mention, you know, vacuum of space and all that, and... Yeah. But, alien mothership! Why is no one thinking of this? <laughs> I mean, no one in this current party actually saw the mothership leave, and even if they did, the thing came back! Because that's how Teddy Ruxpin got here! No one thought of that beforehand. Alright, so I'm guessing this is white screen with crystal loading logo. Okay, what's going on? So I'm guessing, yeah, this is the, the ultimate super mega point of no return, absolutely whatnot. Ooh, we get flashbacks! Alright! 
Nope, I'm just a random hobo. Nope. Don't look familiar at all. Kinda interesting how, you know, being somewhat controlled here shows that Cecil is really a dick. I mean, he doesn't recognize Kane and totally, like, it totally friggin' insults him. And then there's this right here, where he totally insults Edward about the flowers. Which, by the way, Young has a pot of flowers in his bedroom, too, and there's nothing wrong with a guy liking flowers. I'm sorry. But damn, Cecil is, is a bastard. <laughs> And they're right there, there, too. So how did, why, how and why did they, did they just disappear in, in the interim? Okay, traumatic flashbacks, okay. Okay. But the thing is, though, if if she sees the value of the power of the Lemurians, why doesn't why does she just out outright try to kill uh, Fusaya and Golbez? Because obviously, wouldn't they share the same usefulness that 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 Cecil does? Because she's heavily implying here that it's his heritage that is of use to her and not his political position. So I don't quite get it. And here we go back to good old Rosa again. Yep, um, we totally disarmed him, so in case he relapses, he's totally not going to kill us. He's crazy, that's what. How do you know this? I mean, I suppose you've been kind of brainwashed before or whatever, but that was by a different person. Um, hi, hi there, flower. So, all right, all right, all right. So, what exactly is going on with these flowers here? Because we never see anyone, like, stop and resupply anything like that. So, did he just leave the, um, um, sorry, gathering my thoughts here. The one he kept, did he leave that one at home before he, you know, blew up his own throne room and he just took the other one that was sitting in Cecil's castle the whole time? And just brought it with us? Is that what he did, maybe? I I'm just guessing that's what happened. Maybe that partially explains why it's suddenly missing from the throne, or maybe he just, like, stole it back. Well, apparently Sid has been brushing up on what this thing does. And how it works. Look out the window! Yeah? I'm not so sure about that, but... Then again... 
Oh, it's not like Modern Man has had like a, t a chance to like test a theory such as this, so it makes a certain amount of sense, I guess. I mean, it can't be disproven. Young, I think you're a little slow on the uptake here. Oh, that's bull crap. This is not a black hole, it's a satellite. If anything, yeah, it will destroy life on the planet and knock it out of its orbit and stuff. But it's not gonna, like, just, like, suck the planet up, like, you know. Like a vacuum cleaner. Are you sure it's just not the gravitational pull pulling us in? You know, gravity does kind of do that. Yes, we just established that. All right. Since when do when and do when, when do Sid and Luca? Or, uh, when have they become such experts on this thing? I mean, I, mean, I, I suppose I can partially imagine it because Sid did supposedly adapt the airship, you know, the mothership technology into the airship. So maybe a bunch of things are, are similar enough that he can kind of wing it. I guess. That's what I'm guessing here. I felt like everyone else is staying a cra- everyone but, you know, the, clo the closest ones are staying a crab away from this thing. <laughs> away from Cecil. Punch him! Rosa, can you say something else for once? Dying I'm fighting my own inner demons. Remember, kids, always wear your seatbelts. Alright, so let's explore Mothership. Apparently, there's more to it than that. And everyone on the bottom floor is A-OK! -okay. <laughs> oh, this is where I, I can change my party members. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say no for now. I wanna see what everybody says. Okay, your little prepubescent crush here is really starting to get to me. Oh, hey, Ursula! How you doing? Surprised you're not with Dad. Um, will you talk to me? Ursula? Ursula? <laughs> would you talk to me? Thank you! Hi. Um, aren't you? Didn't you say you? I know she said something about it before in Edward's Tale. I thought she mentioned that it didn't seem like it was the same one. Or am I thinking of something else? Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Like, I'm ever gonna use the belt. Can I sleep in here? Okay, I guess I can. I really didn't mean to, like, hit the A button. <laughs> I went to, like, run out of the bed, but... No, apparently Fluttershy wants to take a nap, too. Excuse me, I would like to talk to creepy little robot boy doll here. Who apparently has absolutely nothing to say. Ursula, move, please. Thank you very much. 
Okay, so I have a bed and a safe point in here. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Yeah, uh, Cecil's a zombie. I'm not gonna take him. <laughs> Oh, Rosa, you're way too much of an optimist. What's going on? You missed us. Hey, what's going on, buddy? Um, Cecil is kind of brain dead at the moment. Flowers! Hi. Yes, everyone is hero worshiping Cecil again. You know, I, I know Cecil was very integral to the plot of the last game, but this, like, absolute hero worship of Cecil can do no wrong, even after we've seen that that's not entirely true, it's, it's getting a little annoying. It's like, dude, he's not, like, king of the world, just one country. Luca? Luca? Girlfriend? Like, I know they want to help him and all, and everything like that, and that's fine, but it's like, Cecil, 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 what about everyone else, goddammit? Like, nobody is saying anything about Golbez being back, or anything like that, like, nothing? Nothing? Nobody is shocked by this news, nobody is happy he's here to help us, and that, you know, he's kind of mended his ways and things like that, like, nobody gives a shit? Like, I'd expect somebody to say anything about him, uh, or, or whatever. It's like, oh, I can't believe Cecil's brother came back, or, like, nothing! Not, like, where? Like, why? Like, I, I, I don't get that. I don't get that. But anyway, um, since obviously I knew eventually I would get a chance to swap my party members... I don't know exactly what my uh, party is going to be because I need a couple things answered for me. Uh, number one, how often can I change my party? Because I'm going to need to know that. Um, number two, do you have any official recommendations for parties and party setup? Now, there's uh, eight or nine particular people I want to bring with me at some point. Um, during this endeavor but uh, obviously I'm gonna my initial plan is well obviously depending on how often I can change my party members is to you know swap them around a little bit and level them kind of evenly um, obviously there's some people I'm never going to use because they're not useful enough or their stats suck or whatever um, things like that uh, so I do have a, obviously I do have a list of like eight or nine people uh, one thing though is I have not taken bands into consideration because, well, besides the bands I know, I don't know these other people who haven't interacted with each other before. I don't know what bands I'm capable of. Now, I don't need to know every single band I can do at this point. I'm not interested in that info. Um, at this point, any bands you want to fill me in on are ones that um, pretty much are going to be insanely useful. Like, ones I can use, you know, long term. I don't care about... What, say, Calcut and Brina can do with any other party member. I'm never going to use them. I don't care. Um, obviously, eventually, when I beat the game, I'll probably do a bonus video just showing off all the bands just for the sake of it. So I will learn all of them eventually. But if it's not a party member, I'm not going, you know, if it's a party member, I'm not going to use. Unless it is an extremely useful band, and therefore they're worth bringing along just because of that, I don't want to know. I don't really care at this time. You know, I can always look it up myself when I'm toward the end of the game, and, you know, I don't have to worry about spoilers anymore. So, the people I am bringing along, or I intend to bring along at this point, unless you guys convince me otherwise, uh, Edward is coming. Obviously, if you do not know why I'm bringing Edward, then number one, you do not know me, and number two, you have no idea how useful you can be. <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, Edge, because Edge is awesome. He's pretty cool in this game. He's pretty damn versatile and pretty damn quick. Um, 
I have also considered bringing Boy George along. I don't know um, how that's going to mow over because he's not exactly the strongest person, but he is really, really fast. So that might be an asset at certain parts of the game. So um, depending on what's coming up, so I, I see potential usefulness in, he, in, in him. I uh, don't know exactly. Uh, Rhea is going to come at some point, but for the time being, um, I'm considering bringing Palom as my white mage. Um, first of all, I just spent this chapter with Rhea in my party, and although I don't know how she compares to Palom stat-wise right now because I haven't obviously looked. Um, number one, like I said, I've already used her. Number two, the two use most useful summons she has, I don't have access to. So therefore, I think Palom is kind of going to be better than her at the moment. Uh, obviously, Golbez is going to see some action because, well, he's kick-ass. I don't need to explain that one. Ursula. Uh, she is getting chosen over Yang because she is faster. I know she's not as strong, but I am a speed person. And plus... You know, I deserve. To, you know, I, I should bring some new people along. So I did consider Young because he's obviously powerful, but she's a bit more versatile, and she's faster, so she gets to come. Uh, obviously, Kane because Kane is the man, and he's awesome, and I don't need to explain that. Uh, Fluttershy is coming. Uh, she is my main choice for a white mage. Um, why? Purim is annoying, and Rosa has crappy dialogue. Now, I know she's not as strong as either one of them, but um, the fact that she can double as a black mage in a pinch, um, I see slightly more useful. I have considered bringing Rosa along as well, because obviously because she can do... She, she's not too terrible either, but like I said, she's got crappy dialogue, so I'm kind of on the fence about her, but if she can prove herself useful, I will have no problem bringing her. So, yeah, that's what, like nine people that are on my list of people to bring. I haven't decided if I want to use Theodore or not. I'm I'm, I'm kind of on the fence about him, too. I mean, I got nothing against the guy, but I mean, I don't know how useful he is in comparison to anyone else or anything like that. <coughs> so, let me know about potential party members and potential bands I should be taking into consideration based on the criteria I've already listed and, and whatnot. So, really want your input here. Um, Obviously, don't spoil me on, on exactly what's coming, but if there's certain party members that are more useful now, but I want to switch out later, you know, take that into consideration as well. I mean, um, I might just start the next chapter with a semi-randomly generated, uh, well-rounded party, but I don't know. So I'm going to wait for you guys' input on that one. And feel me in. I mean, I have... I mean, I'm guessing we're, we're on the other moon. I have no idea what is coming. Absolutely no idea what is coming. Like, I'm just going into this, like, completely flabbergasted. No idea what the, what the hell is going to happen. No idea. So, uh, thank you for watching, everybody, and I will see you later.